All right, welcome back for the second part of our um, spidery spider web windows here. I've got my spiders here. I've got like a whole little colony, a little family of spiders going on here. So what I'm gonna do now is color. So I'm gonna use brown marker for the wood of the window pane. And then I'm going to use um, a crayon to color inside the window pane. Um, we're using crayon because crayons are a little bit more um, easy to work with to get around um, the Sharpie marker. If you go uh, a little bit on top of the Sharpie, it's not gonna make um, that big of a difference. Whereas if you use a marker and you try to cover up the Sharpie, it's gonna show, it's gonna show up. So I'm gonna use crayon for inside the window pane and brown marker for the outside part of the window pane or the wood. So I'm gonna start with the marker and um, I'd like you to use lawnmower lines. Remember, lawnmower lines are where you color in one direction or coloring in rows. Um, this way, if you color in rows, those lines, those rows of marker are going to give the texture, sort of the visual texture, which remember we talked about before, the visual texture of the wood because those lines um, are going to mimic those natural lines that we see in wood. So I'm gonna color in rows and color um, with lawnmower lines to make it look a little more like the texture of wood. All right, the final step is to use a crayon to color inside the window pane of your spiderweb windows. So there's um, different colors that you could use for this. I chose, for my first one, I chose to use yellow to make it kind of look like either the sun is setting and it's glowing through the window, sort of at that golden hour, that day, that time of day where the, the, everything looks like it's glowing um, to show up the spiders and the spiderwebs very nicely. Um, you could do orange to you to do that same effect. Um, you could do a blue, like a deep, dark blue, as long as you don't press very hard um, to make it look like a blue sky or like an evening sky or a nighttime sky. You could use gray if you want it to be more like a stormy or cloudy sky, cloudy day. Um, you could even use black if you want uh, it to um, look like a night sky, like a deep night, midnight sky. Um, I just want to caution you, though, if you use black, just don't press too hard with the crayon. Otherwise, your spiders aren't going to show up very well. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do this time is use orange. I used yellow on my first one, so I'm gonna use orange on this one. And all I'm doing is just going to color around the spiders. If you get a little bit over top of the black Sharpie with your crayon, not that big of a deal. I mean, I'm not trying to get right on top of the Sharpie, but if it happens by accident, no big deal because the Sharpie is much darker than the crayon. So it's not going to show up over the Sharpie. 